Hello everyone, thank you for dropping by. I am your host Strictly Gaming and thank you for clicking on my video. We'll be playing another episode of Final Fantasy 7 and we'll be arriving to Cosmo Canyon here. And if you're new to the channel and you, if you haven't, please do hit the subscribe button so you can join a community of Final Fantasy here with us with all gameplay and walkthrough. And in case if you haven't watched any of my previous episode, I'll put on the top right hand corner here a playlist of my previous episode. Anyways, without further ado, let's get going. I love the music here. I am home, it is I, Nanakai. Okay, so any of you who don't know Red 13's real name is Nanakai? Hey, you're safe. Come on, and say hello to Booger Hagen. Nanakai, says Cloud, question mark. Welcome to Cosmo Canyon, are you familiar with this land? Not to say no. Let me explain, people from all over the world gather here to seek the study of planet life. I'm sorry it's full now, so I can't let you enter. They helped me when I was on the road, please let them in. Oh, is that so? You helped out Nanakai, please come in. That is such a cool name. That's his name. Alright, so we got Red 13, or oh, Nanakai is temporary away from the team. Okay. I'll just put Tifa for now. Alright, feel free to explore here for a little bit. So, let's have a look around here. Hello, looking for anything in particular? Alright, so this is just a general store. Collect what you need here. Here is where I was. I mean, this is my hometown. My tribe will protect us of those who appreciate this beautiful canyon and the planet. My brave mother fought and died here, but my cowardly father left her. I am the last of my race. Oh, that's so sad. Cowardly father. Yes, my father was a wastrel. And so the mission I inherited from my ancestors is to protect this planet. My journey ends here. Hey, Nanakai, you're home. Coming, Grandpa. Eris, like, let's rest for a bit. There are some things I want to find out anyway. Alright, let's just follow on with them. Tasty cocktails, pop starlet. Fluffy beds in Sh Shiro Inn. Come in today. It's right near Cosmo Candle. Ah, there we go. So over there on the right was the inn. But let's just go on here and check it out here. Awesome, there's a save point as well. Over here, that should be the weapon shop. There's quite a lot of weapons and equipment I believe you can get here. So take your time and purchase what you need. Alright, so we will need a butterfly edgy. This is a new weapon for Cloud. Tiger Fang, yes we do, maybe Vulcan, Crimson Staff, alright let's just buy a Silver Braid, Pinwheel, wow, so we pretty much need everything, alright let's just buy, let's buy three. Alright, take this moment as well to equip the weapons that you just purchased. Alright, so this is, looks like where everyone is. Cosmo Candle, a drink now and then it's good for you. It will relax you for a bit if you know when to stop. Tiff is like, oh no, what's happened to Red 13? He's so excited as a little boy. 
Aaron's like, maybe there are some people here that know about the promised land and the ancients. Let me do this gentleman. How about our original cocktail? Oh, okay. What is this room? He's sleeping here. So this is the materials shop. You can purchase some uh, materials here. Oh, there we go. We hardly get any customers, but do have confidence in our material. So it's going to be very useful materials here. We're going to get some MP plus and HP plus. All right, I might get three of each. So the reason I'm going to get three, I'm going to put one on maybe on each of the characters when we use them. Alright, there he is, there's Red 13, or Nanakai. Hey Cloud, this is my grandfather, Bugen. He's incredible, he knows everything. He that you looked after Nanakai. Or Nanaki, however you like to pronounce it, but I'm going to be pronouncing him as Nanakai. Nanakai is still a child, you see. Please stop, grandfather, I'm 48. <laughs> Nanakai's tribe has incredible longevity. So you see, his 48 is only equivalent to say that of a 15 or 16 year old in human reckoning. 15 or 16, says Clown. He's quiet and very deep. You thought he was an adult. Grandfather, I want to be an adult. I want to grow up to be able to protect you and the village. No, Nanakai. You can't stand on your own yet. To do that now would destroy you in the long run. Reaching up into the heavens, threatening to snatch the very stars from the great city of Midgar. You've seen it, haven't you? Well, that's a bad example. Looking up too much makes you lose perspective. When it's time for the planet to die, you'll understand that you'll know absolutely nothing. Clouds like what? When the planet dies? Maybe tomorrow, hundred years from now, but it's not long long. How do you know this? I hear the cries of the planet. What's that? The sounds of the stars in the heaven. While this goes on, planets are born and die. That was a scream from the planet. Did you hear it? As if to say, I hurt, I suffer have come here on a journey to save the planet. Why don't you just show them your apparatus? That's for 30. To save the planet? Ho ho ho. But then again, I guess it wouldn't hurt to show him. Boog Hagen. Several odd looking people are here. The whole place has gotten busy all of a sudden. He brought friends too, I'll go get them. Red Thirteen is one of my favourite characters in the series. I love him. Cloud, please call one of them. Only three people can fit in Grandfather's machines. Okay. He over here. The door's unlocked. Come in. Ah, right, there he is. It looks like you have them all together. Then let's begin. I'll stand there.
Eris is so pretty, it's just like the real thing. Yes, pretty good. This is my laboratory. All the workings of space are entered into this 3D holographic system. Hey, a shooting star. How wonderful. Yes, it is something, isn't it? Well, let's get to the subject. Eventually all humans die. What happens to them after they die? The body decomposes and returns to the planet. That much everyone knows. What about their consciousness with their hearts and their souls? The soul to return to the planet. Not only those of humans, but everything on this planet. In fact, all living things in the universe are the same. The spirits that return to the planet merge with one another and roam the planet. They roam, converge and divide, becoming a swarm called the life stream. In other words, a part of the energy of the soul roaming the planet. Spirit energy is a word that you should never forget. A new life, children are blessed with spirit energy and are brought into the world. Then the time comes when they die and once again return to the planet. Of course, there are exceptions, but this is the way of the world. I've di digressed, but you understand. And better if you watch this. is the source of life for trees, birds and humans. And not only living things, it makes it possible to form planets. And if that spirit energy were to disappear, These are the basics of the study of planet life. If spirit energy disappears, our planet will die. Spirit energy is efficient because it exists within a nature. When spirit energy is forcefully extracted and manufactured, it can't accomplish its true purpose. We're talking about Marco energy, right? Every day, Marco reactors suck up spirit energy, diminishing it. Is compressing reactors and process into micro energy. All living things have been used up and thrown away. In other words, micro energy will only destroy the planet. So the story of the planets and those who live with them. If you want to know more, then you must listen to the words of the elders. Nanakai, his father's a coward. So that's it. Nanakai has been thinking that all his all this time. All right. So there's not much more we can do here. We get to find it. We found out a bit more about the, how the Marco energy is related to the planet. Everybody here. 
So make sure you talk to Red 13 last here, because that will progress the story. What a boring place, just like I thought. I want to go somewhere. Let's go find some material. Baron's like Cosmo Canyon. This is where Avalanche was born. I promise my guys someday when we save the planet from the Shinra that we'll all go to Cosmo Canyon and celebrate. Biggs. Wedge. Jesse. Now they're all gone. Died for the planet. Really? To save the planet? We all we all hate the Shinra. But is it right to go on? Will they ever forgive me? Right now, I really don't know, but I do know one thing. If there's anything I can do to save the planet or the people living on it, then I'm gonna do it. I don't care if it's just for justice or revenge or whatever. I'm gonna do it. Avalanche is born again. Alright, that's interesting to hear. So, this is where the team was formed. I wonder how many years it's been. Gosh, it brings back memories, says Cathis. Speak to Aerith. I learned a lot. The elders taught me many things about the Cetra and the Promised Land. I'm all alone now, but I'm Rahim before you, right? Says Kyle. I am the only Cetra, Aerith replies. Does that mean we can't help? Hmm. Sounds pretty sad there right now. Cloud, says Tifa. Bonfires are funny, aren't they? They make you remember all sorts of things. You know, Cloud, five years ago? It's nothing. Forget it, I'm afraid to ask. What is it? It feels like you're going far away. You really, really are? Hmm. A lot of questions, no answers at the moment. It's like long ago, when I was still very small, we were all around this flame. Never mind. What happened? It's about my parents. When I talk about my mother, I'm full of pride and joy. But that's fine. But when I think of my father, my heart's full of anger. You really can't forgive your father, says Booger Hagen. Of course, he left my mother for dead. When the Gi tribe attacked, he ran off by himself, leaving mother and the people in the canyon. Come down, Akai. There's something you should see. The place may be dangerous. Cloud, you and one other person come with us. Alright, so this is very important here. So we're going to be doing a bit of a, a, a couple battles down here. So make sure you choose the member that you think will be most equivalent for you. You can't take out Cloud or Red 13 in this situation. So in my situation, I'm going to choose a healer. I'm going to bring Aerith along with us. All right. There it is. So are we all set? So take a moment to equip all your uh, materials and equipment if you need to. We are. Alright, the door now opens finally. Alright, come in. Okay, you lead the way, Grandpa. Huh? Are you crazy? It's dangerous in there. I told you that. You want an old man like me to go first? I'll be right behind you. Here we go, guys. Alright, let's just make our way down here. So that's very interesting, hey? A lot of questions about Red 13, where he came from. Why he's so angry with his father? Alright. Okay, 
Let's see, where do we go? Oops. Okay, let's break it open. Let's just figure out where do we go here. Perfect. Now we've also even learned enemy skill death sentence, which is going to be very important. So if you guys haven't, all right, let's quickly finish this off. All right, perfect. All right, let's continue on. I'm really not sure where to go here. Everyone sees a ghost of the G tribe killed in a certain battle. A certain battle? A vengeful spirit of the Gi didn't disappear and couldn't return to the live stream. We still have far to go. Okay, let's just keep going. So it looks like a bit of a maze here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I went too quick there. I just got some damage. Alright, make sure you pick up. This is going to be the added effect material. I'm not sure who to put it on. Come back to that. Okay, let's 
just be careful here. Let's not to go too quick. There we go. Alright, something to collect here as well. Ah, there we go. Okay, as you can see, this cave leads to the back of the Cosmo Canyon. Even though the G outnumbered us, they could not attack through here because of the passage is too narrow. Let's move on. Alright, so this looks like even more confusion here. Wow. Okay, so let's go through here first. Whoa, what is this? Let's use some bolt, that should hopefully take care of it. Uh, nope. There we go. Right, let's continue on, let's see where does this go. X potion, perfect. Just wondering, how do we get over there? No, number five. But number two. Stephen. Nice. Okay, this is interesting. I'm not. Let's have a look down here. Where does this take us? Nice. A fairy ring. Nice. Let's see what that does. Okay, protects poison and darkness. Alright. Okay, so let's just head to the middle. Alright, let's continue on. Alright, the warrior went through the cave all alone, finding attackers one after another. Grandpa, that warrior. We're almost there.
What is this? Says Boog Hagen. Grandpa, is he? After death, the ghost of the gee like stagnant air. This can't be. Alright, here we go, guys. Alright, so make sure you, you bring your uh, summons, like your Chocobo, Mogs, and Shiva. Just gonna use everyone's limit breaks here. So he is a fire element, so let's just use ice. Take tons of damage is the Earth Wraith limit break. Oh there we go! Nice, everyone leveled up. So we've got the wizard staff as well as an item. Thank you, Cloud says Booker Hagen. Because of you, we survived. Manaka, you have grown strong too. Oh yeah. Now I know that it wasn't a mistake bringing you here. Come, I have something I want to show you. Right over here. Alright, so as the team move ahead, make sure you pick up this materia should be your gravity material and just head on continue on the story this is the warrior who fought against the gi he kept them from taking even one step into Cosmo Canyon But he was never able to return to town. Look, Nanako, look at your father at the warrior Seto. That, that's Seto. Seto continued to fight the Gi tribe here to protect this canyon. Even after the Gi's poisonous arrows, he turned his body into stone. Even after they all ran away, Seto continued to protect us. And he continues to protect us now. Even now? Says 30. You thought that he was a coward and ran away, but he alone risked his life to protect Cosmo Canyon. That is your father, Seto. That is Seto. Did Mother know? She knew. The two of them made me promise to keep this cave sh shut. They've asked me to seal it myself and not to tell a soul. They said we should forget about this cave. Cloud, would you mind leaving the two of us alone? Nanakai, I want you to continue your journey with Cloud and the others. Grandpa? Listen, Nanakai. Cloud says they are trying to save the planet. Honestly, I don't think it can be done. For even if they stop every reactor on the planet, it's only going to postpone the inevitable. Even if they stop Sephiroth, everything will perish. But Nanakai, I've been thinking lately. Thinking if there was anything we could do as a part of the planet, something to help the planet already is in misery. No matter what happens, isn't it important to try? Am I just wishing against fate? I am too old to do anything about it. This year I'll be 130. That is why Nanaka, you must go with them for my sake. Grandpa.
I wanted to show you your real father before you left. While still alive to show you. Great, but don't talk like that. I don't want to think of life without you. Well, I've had a long life. Grandpa, you must live. I'll see to it. I'll see to what's happening to the planet and I'll come back to tell you. Nanakai. I am Nanakai of Cosmo Canyon, the son of the warrior Seto. I'll come back to a warrior true to that noble name. So please, Grandpa. So Cloud's like, shall we get going? So this is it, hey, Ray 13, says Aerith. Barrett's like, that's just the way it goes. Came in handy at times. Alright, so choose your team, guys. So I'm gonna choose Aerith, and I might put Barrett as well. Alright, so there's nothing much more you can do here, uh, but feel free to collect anything that you haven't, like go buy purchase weapons, uh, materials, uh, items is all you need. Uh, but without further, let's get going. Oh, Red Thirteen's like, wait for me, I'm coming too. Cloud, please look after Nanakai, says Bukahagen. What happened? I think I grew up a little. That's what happened. Come back whenever you need my knowledge. Alright guys. This is where we'll be leaving it off here today. And what a absolutely interesting and fabulous mission just now at Cosmo Canyon and getting to know the backstory of uh, Red 13 whose now real name we now found out as Nanakai. Uh, he is well, definitely one of my favorite characters in the in the 7 series um, and if you enjoyed this content and watch up to this far please destroy that like button for me and if you haven't please subscribe uh, so you won't be missing any of my videos going forward on what happens next but for now We'll see you in our next video. Take care.